So I am Sharath, uh, Commissioner Panchayat Raj Rural Development, uh, uh, participating in the uh, Degodia Plus conference today uh, from the state of Telangana. I am so happy, pleasure and proud to participate here to know various uh, interventions and uh, best practices happening across the country. But uh, I am happy to explain what has been done in the state of Telangana. Point one is that uh, under the aegis and spirit of the SBM, Swachabharat Mission of Government of India, we have done like a drive mode. In certain districts, we did like a 100 days plan to declare the di districts as a ODF. And accordingly, we did. In certain districts, like where Swachha Marathon has been organized, uh, like a tick tick program. So like 876 lab laboratories, IHLs, have been completed in 36 hours with involvement of participation, community and public representatives and people and government and NGOs. So with the spirit of that ODF, ODF declaration, we have concentrated ODF plus activities. And the, in the state of Telangana, we are happy to state that our Honorable Chief Minister, K. Chandrasekhar Rao Sar, has uh, coincided with a view to achieve ODF plus in the, all the villages. So he has uh, coined the program called Palle Pragati, which is a village development. The village development is not only one aspect, it has an inclusive aspect. Means ODF plus, that is one aspect. Second, infrastructure gap has to be filled. Third, the water piped, uh, uh, tapped water supply to the households. Fourth, uninterrupted power supply. So these are the main focus and the objective of the program, in addition to this, the villages shall be visibly clean and villages be visibly green. So that is the focus of the program. With that, this Vodiya Plus initiative of the Government of India and the Palle Pragati Convergence, the program, which is the flagship program of the Government of Telangana, under the leadership of uh, CM Sir, then we have focused, you can imagine, a small 150 population of Gram Panchayat is possessing a tractor and trolley. The tradition was is a tricycle based collection of waste. Now, with a, so much status and dignity, my Pradhan of Gram Panchayat, my, my Panchayat secretary who sits there, goes with pride with the tractor and trolley collects daily waste at the source, dry separately, waste separately. Then I am proud to state every gram panchayat, every village possessing a dumping ad where the dry separation, segregation takes place with certain compartments and wet waste also is processed to a compost. I am happy, can, happily can announce, it's a, it's a figure, it's a daily statistics. Every gram panchayat is earning 50,000 to 5 lakh. Today, I brought one gram panchayat sarpanch here, Mukara. She is earning 5 lakh rupees from the waste. That's a, it is a real story. It, it's, it's credited in the gram panchayat account itself. So it, that is the system. So waste being collected and the processed in a systematic way. And secondly, Coming to the Vodia Plus and clean aspect, we have a panchayat system everywhere. Every panchayat is having a panchayat secretary who is the executive head of the Gram Panchayat. So his main job as a part of the act, we made in the act, the CMSR has, uh, Honorable CM has made into the act, incorporated the act. His job is to go to the village and collect the waste and make sanitation. Sanitation is the prime activity. And he sits and we monitor as a head of the state that app based, app, mobile app based, he has to go by 6 a.m. or before 7 a.m. and collect the waste, takes the waste to the dumping yard, process, and he uploads the photo. That's the crux. 
we monitor that 95% of the people, we get the photo of the processed waste of the Gram Panchayat, the waste collection and processing of waste. So because of that, the visible cleanliness is now seen in the every Gram Panchayat, every village of the state of Telangana. In addition to that, the community sanitary complexes also with the SBM, Swachh Bharat Mission Convergence, has also taken place. That also has been community sanitary complexes being maintained by Gram Panchayats. So that is one hand. Second, I was saying, the first aspect of the, the Palle Pragati program. Second aspect is the infrastructure gap. Like uh, the Gram Panchayat building, then these uh, all IHLs are uh, built up. Then every Gram Panchayat is tractor, trolley, tanker. Every Gram Panchayat, Palle Prakriti Vanam. Every Gram Panchayat, Palle Prakriti Vanam means a park. 19,472 villages is possessing the parks. Never in the history. We, would have see, we will see the parks only in the urban areas, in the town areas. But now every village is now is the park. 13,472 acres on the basis of Miyawaki model. We have taken up the parks everywhere. So you can also see certain photographs. So like that infrastructure gap has also been filled. Third most important is that 24 into 7 water supply. The 100 liters of water supply tapped water supply, the difference between other states and whatever achieved and other area is, we are providing surface water. It is not ground water. Surface water, the, the river water, we are lifting the valley. Then, then, then we are supplying the uh, lifting and uh, uh, through the totally construction of uh, the relevant structures and uh, we just uh, supplying the uh, water to the house, households. So 100 liters we are supplying, the tapped water supply, it's a surface water. That we are giving, we have ensured as a part of Jaljivin mission, but before that, under mission Bhagiratha. So now, uh, already the government of India also declared that uh, the state of Telangana has already achieved. I'm sure this might have become a model to the country. So that is uh, uh, the concept behind the mission Bhagiratha, it became already model to the country. Then, 24 into 7, electricity power supply. Power supply also is ensured for the uh, 24 into 7, either be domestic or agriculture or industrial. So that is also been ensured. So these four, in addition to these four objectives, the greenery environment, I am proud to stay, I being an uh, officer from there, state of Telangana, if you go from some state to another state, that if you enter the state of Telangana, somebody go from Maharashtra, some, some uh, vehicle, trucks or something, they will clearly say, our state of Telangana has come because greenery has come. So greenery which itself invites them. Sure. Yes. So one is uh, greenery for every gram, every nursery, every gram, gram panchayat has a nursery. Every road has a, both sides of avenue plantation. Every house has a road, avenue plantation. Every road has avenue plantation. Every house has a plantation. And every public institution has a plantation like that greenery environment has also uh, improved like anything. So this uh, I'm really proud to share with all of you that uh, the state of Telangana has achieved a, a great objective, greater objective in the spirit of SPM and also cleanliness of greenery. And also the greenery and clean environment has been established in every village. And now the healthy village has been developed, productive and healthy environment is there healthy people is there, productive environment is there, and seasonal disease has come down drastically. So with this, thank you.